guys and welcome to my review of Haiku to 12. And we start off this chapter with Karasuno speaking about how they need to unite the entire team and how to improve they need to train together all of them. And they especially start talking about Hinata because of course he was the only one who wasn't supposed to be at a training camp like Tsukishima and Kagayama. But we get this really grand speech from Takeda about how Hinata is aware of how he needs to improve and that he's not as good a player as he wants to be and there are still so many steps that he needs to climb to get where he wants to go. Um, and with this we go into Hinata's storyline again where we stay for the entire chapter instead of just jump jumping around like we've done over the course of how many chapters. So Hinata's finally gotten his head out of the mattress and he is very determined and he has this very unique look on his face which, which Tendo and Ushikawa they notice and they say like oh, it's it's creeping me out it's I don't like that face um and Hinata's thinking that he needs to get a new perspective on how he works as a player um and then when he goes to dry off some laundry because they need their dry uh, mat not uniforms but you know the things to extinguish players um he goes up and he stands above the court and he literally gets a new perspective and he starts thinking about how he acts on court and he starts looking at the players instead of the ball which he always follows because when he has a place he always follows the ball where the ball goes he goes so he starts looking at how the players act and he notices that they don't they don't follow the ball like like uh, like he does he, they follow the players and the ball and he starts to think about how he's been looking at it all wrong. The first thing Hinata notices about himself is that when he stands on court he doesn't move. He just follows the ball around with his uh, with his eyes and then he moves whenever he needs to. Like in the last minute before he needs to receive the ball or just before he has to spike it. He has his run up and then he spikes it. But he doesn't do anything until he has to. So he, do he doesn't accommodate his position to where he needs to be until he absolutely has to and that's of course a big problem because you need to move to be able to block probably to spike probably to receive probably and to not be a nuisance for your teammates he also starts watching the spikers and the people who serve the ball very intensely and he thinks back to um, Nishinoya, I think it was, who said that if you're really good, you can see, you can predict the course of the ball by watching the form of the spiker. So if they do like go like this, you can you can see that the direction of the ball which is going to be spiked is going to be this direction, for example. Um, and that's really smart. But Hinata, who always follows the ball, would never be able to do it because. He doesn't follow the players and this was also the problem he had in the very beginning of the series when he needed to do the uh, uh, quick play with Kagiyama because he said that if he d didn't close his eyes, his eyes would naturally just follow the ball. Um, so it's actually quite interesting that it took him 212 chapters to realize just how bad it was that he couldn't take his eyes off that single point. So after he uh, looked at how the people who spiked the ball move he starts looking at the libero i think it is or at least the person who receives uh the most balls in this game and he l sees that he does this thing where before he receives the ball he kind of takes uh, a mini jump in the air and then he reacts really fucking quick and he now thinks back to one of his friends who taught him something about tennis and he teaches him this thing called a split step where just before or as the your opponent makes contact with the ball in tennis it would be the ratchet and the ball and in volleyball it would just be the hand but just before that happens you would or when it happens you would jump a little up and then if you can get the timing right you would be able to react so much faster than if you just stood on the ground and wait, uh, was waiting for the ball. And as Hinata remembers this, he also starts looking at how other people receive the ball. So he notices that Ushiwaka, for example, he's very uh, 
steady and he doesn't move as much but he still has really solid receives and one of the th reasons that he can do this is because he has very long arms. Hinata even points out at one point that Ushiwaka uh, would, was able to stand still and receive a ball because he had longer arms than Hinata had. So Hinata starts thinking, really starts thinking about how he acts on the court, how other people act and how you can use your own features, your own body and what you can do to improve and do things differently because Hinata has all the, not the skill, but he has the talent. He's quick, he's agile, he has a lot of good qualities, but he doesn't really put it to good use and he, Kageyama has said this so many times. He ha times, he has so much talent and he doesn't put it to good use. And this is what I think Hinata will do now because he's starting to look at other players. Just as I said in my last review that he was going to start looking at other players and start stealing their moves. So it'll be really interesting to see how Hinata starts to improve from here. He'll obviously start moving more on court and I think he'll probably start um, uh, the improving his receives because he's always been really bad at those. But maybe now where he can react faster and he knows that he needs to move his body more, maybe he can improve on that which is a really big step for Hinata because the middle blocker receiving isn't what he's supposed to do the most of but he still needs to be able to do it. And of course, as a middle blocker, it's important that he can predict how other spikers, where they want to spike the ball, because that's what Tsukishima is really good at. He uh, he predicts what, what other people are going to do, but Hinata just follows the ball, and sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes he has to do something else, and being able to look at the spikers instead of the balls will really help improve Hinata's blocking, especially because he's so short to begin with, so he needs to be one step ahead of everybody else. But yeah, that was basically what I had to say about this chapter. I found it really interesting and I'm really liking the uh, the direction that Hinata is going in. But if you like anything that I had to say, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what you thought of the chapter and subscribe if you want to see more. I also do reviews on One Piece and Shogun Gekinosomo, so if you like those, follow me and bye!